Hey beauties, welcome back to another Toban tutorial with me, Kafi. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. My name is Kafi, okay? Yes, this is Kafi of Kafi Beauty. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are a returning subscriber, it's lovely to see you again. Please stay subscribed, okay? Because on this channel, we create an easy, fun sewing tutorial, all right? And having subscribed, make sure you hit on the bell notification icon so that anytime new videos are uploaded on this channel, you will definitely be the first person to get notified, all right? Thank you so much for doing that. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I designed this pretty looking turban. Yes, today's turban tutorial is all about this turban you see me having on. Have a quick look. Yes, guys, today's turban tutorial is known as a crisscross turban hat, right? A crisscross turban hat, and it is sectioned into three. It has a base, a band, and the design, which is called crisscross. Here is the base of the turban, right? And this is the band, and this is the design at the front, crisscross design at the front. And I designed this turban with a cutting jersey fabric which is very stretchy. Yes, it is a stretchy fabric. You can as well make use of a scuba fabric or any other type of stretchy fabric you have available. All right, so are you ready? Well then, let's get riding. Welcome back once again, everyone. As always, these are all the material I'll be working with. On this table, I have my fabric, I have some clips, a pair of snippers, a pair of scissors, I have toy stuffing, right? And I have my measuring tape and I have my sewing machine and a machine thread. Okay, so let's continue. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, today's turban tutorial is known as a crisscross turban cap and it is sectioned into three. It has a base, a band, and a crisscross design at the front. Okay, and these are all these are the material I'll be working with, and I've already prepared my fabric. Okay, so the first thing we are going to be working on is the base and the band of the turban right this is the fabric for my base okay and uh, here is the fabric for my band and the measurement for this fabric the length measures 22 inches for the length and the width measures 14 inches for the width and please make sure when you are cutting your fabric you cut your length from the most stretchy part of your fabric your length Cut it from the most stretchy part of your fabric and make sure you measure your head circumference. You don't have to use 22 because I use 22. I'm working with 22 inches for the length because my head circumference measures 22. Please measure yours. Yours might be 20. It might be 24. Okay. But if it is 22, please go for it. So now that is the measurement for the length, for the base of the turban. And now the band the band measures the length is 22 as well and the weight measures five inches so the first thing you're going to be doing going to fold your band to two equal half just like so okay then you place it on your base like this right you place it like this then you can secure it down with some clips or feel free to highball it if you want just some clip just exactly the way i am doing it so when you are done securing it then you take it to your sewing machine take your fabric to your sewing machine and stitch from here to here so let's do that so guys let's stitch Guys, I'm done joining the band to the base of the turban. Look at that. Right? The back view. And here is the front view. Okay? Look at that on the table. The front view. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is going to put this aside. Now we'll be working on the design, the crisscross design. You get the fabric. Here's the fabric. Okay? So for the design, I have my fabric and you know the design is called a crisscross design, right? And I have two pieces of fabric, one, two. And the measurement for my fabric, the length measures 28 and the width measures 
nine. So the length is 28 and the width is, the width measures nine inches. Okay, so and it's two, one, two, two pieces of fabric. So the first thing you're going to be doing, you're going to fold the fabric in half. You fold the second one too in half, right? Like so. Make sure they are both equal, right? Then you take it to your sewing machine and stitch from here to here. You stitch this one too from here to here. So let's do that. Let's stitch. Now I'm done sewing the two pieces of fabric, right? This is what it is looking like. So the next thing we're going to turn the fabric inside out, just like so. Turn the second one as well. So this is it guys, I'm done turning both fabric. So now you're going to grab your toy stuffing. This is it. Then you're going to be inserting it inside the two fabric. This is the first one and the second one, right? And the measurement for my toy stuffing, the length measures, right? The length measures 23 inches and the width measures three, three inches. Okay, so we're going to be putting it inside just like this. So you do the same to the second fabric, you insert it just like so. Now I'm done inserting the toy stuff in into the fabric, right? This is what it is looking like after look at that. So the next thing you're going to do is going to turn your fabric like so, right? The wrong side will be facing up, okay? The first fabric, the wrong side, make sure it is facing up. The same part, make sure it is facing up like so. Then the second fabric, the same part, you're going to cross it around the first one, like, like so. Look at that. The same part, you face it, you crisscross it around like so, okay? Then you bring this hand this way, all right? If I secure it, you can flip it a clip, just like this, right? Then you do the same thing on this side, all right? So it will look basically, it will look like this after. So then you place it at one side, then you grab your the fabric. So the next thing you take your the first fabric, the base of your turban, right? And you're going to be positioning it on top on the band like so okay place it like so all right then you fold your fabric after placing it like so then you're going to take it take it to your sewing machine and stitch it down make sure remember you place it on your band just like this right then you're going to take it to your sewing machine and stitch it down on the band this way you stitch this side down then you come to this side as well okay you stitch it you come to this side as well all right you stitch it down all right let me take that again quickly you grab your fabric your crisscross design this is it then you're going to place it on your on the base of your turban on the band like so okay then you take it to your sewing machine and stitch this side down on the band like so you stitch it down right you do the same thing at this side okay you place it on here and stitch it down okay so let's do that so you take it to your sewing machine and do that okay stitch this end down and this end down okay so let's do that so guys let's stitch so guys now you stitch the second side as well so let's do that so 
guys, I'm done stitching the design down to the base of the turban. And this is what it is looking like after. Look at that. There's the front view, okay? And this is the back view. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to fold your fabric into two equal half, just like so, okay? Now, we are so now we are going to be rounding off the top to form a turban shape, a turban hat. Okay, round off the top just like so, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect, just round it up exactly the way I'm doing it. That is it, guys. Then you open up your fabric, like right, so. This is what you'll be looking like after. Look at that. Round up the top, right? So after that, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to fold your fabric in half, like so. Okay. Now you're going to take your fabric to your sewing machine and stitch right from the band down to this side. Okay. So let's do that. Now let's stitch. guys i'm done stitching and this is what the fabric is looking like after right so the next thing you're going to do is going to turn your fabric inside out look at that look at that so here's the design here's the base of the top band. so now we are you're going to prepare your needle and thread because we're going to be running a quick stitch to form a gathers Turn your fabric back in, right? So we're going to be running a quick stitch after the band. From here, after the band, then you stop on here. So let's do that. So let's gather. Guys, make sure you do it back and forth, okay? And when you are done, okay, then you tie a knot to secure the thread in place from losing out. Tie the knot two to three times or three to four times, right? Then you cut out the SS thread. Just like so, right? So this is it, guys. I'm done for me day. Gathers. The next thing you need to turn your fabric inside out. This is it, guys. This is the final outcome. Here's the front view. Look at that. Front view. Okay. Here's the crisscross design at the top. And this is the back view. Okay. Look at that. Very pretty. Okay. Here's the side, first side, second side, right? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, guys. So, guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you find today's video interesting. If you find it helpful, kindly give me a big thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. Like, all right, share with your friends, share with your family, and please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe for more beautiful tutorial, all right? Then I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.